Today we enter the lands between to dismantle the Golden Order and spread democracy for Super Earth. Let's see if you can beat Elden Ring as a Hell Diver. In order to achieve our goal, we need a mod. And luckily we have the Elden Divers mod created by Rusty. This adds a custom starting class to the game that gives us stratagems, which will be our main source of damage for this run. We start our journey by eliminating the Grafted Scion, which now has been renamed and clinically diagnosed with depression. One orbital EMS strike ends its suffering. We get rewarded with even more stratagems. The mod adds 14 stratagem beacons to the game. The white pots are the orbital beacons and they scale with strength. You got the normal precision strike, barrage strike, an EMS strike that stuns enemies, a rail cannon, an orbital laser that tracks enemies, and a gas bomb. Next are the red pots, which are airstrikes that scale with dexterity. You got the normal airstrike, a cluster bomb, a napalm strike, rocket pods, and my favorite stratagem, the nuke. And finally, we got the gray pots, which scale with intelligence. There's gravity mines, fire mines, and an electric field. These mine ones might- okay, holy fuck. Okay, holy fuck. Continuing the story, I take down the tree sentinel with ease. Props to Big Dog though, because he ate some missiles like they were nothing. Oh shit, he's eating it up. He ate it. He's eating all of it, bro. See what an orbital laser does here? Oh, I like that one. Okay, don't give it to me, bro. Oh, that one does a... Oh, that one is constant. Constant damage. Another orbital laser then. Okay, orbital lasers are the way to go. Now I head off to the Gatefront Grace to meet my new co-worker and grab the greatest horse of all time. From there, we grab the flail from the nearby carriage and TP back to the first step and travel west to the shore to get the gold foot. Grabbing all these items will make sense soon. Why did I even try that? Next stop was the Third Church America to get the physic and a sacred tier. But more importantly, we came here for the portal right behind the church that takes us deep into Kaelid, a great place to settle down and start a family. We head south until we hit Fort Faroth. Going up the ladder, I grabbed half of the Dectus Medallion and jumped back inside to grab the Radagon Sword Seals Talisman, which raises your skills by 5. Now with the Talisman equipped and the Flail we got earlier, we're gonna go kill the old and senile dragon for that cash money. The Flail has bleed damage, so this process only took a couple minutes. Right before the dragon died, I popped the gold foot for extra runes. Doing all this got me to around level 36, and I leveled health, endurance, and strength. With all the prep work done, it was finally time to fight Margit. Let's spread some democracy in this bit. Alright, come over here, buddy boy. Oh my. I'm just... Um, it feels like a war crime, but Geneva Conventions probably don't apply here, so we good. Let's see how this Godric fight goes. Alright, toss this one. Toss this one. Oh yeah. Okay, the frames are crazy. Wow, I don't even know what just happened. After beating Godric, I headed up to Liernia of the Lakes, but on the way I decided to harass some of the citizens. I found this sad looking dude in a church and he asked me for spare runes, so instead I gave him a napalm strike. So like none of those hit him. After that I found a camp filled with soldiers and sent an orbital barrage on their location. Good throw. So I think the um <clears throat> the guy aiming the orbital strikes is blind. 
While I was riding through the lake, I found Rhea chilling nearby and she asked me to retrieve her precious necklace. When I found the guy who took it, he tried to strong arm me. But motherfuckers keep forgetting I'm from Super Earth. I gave her her necklace back and she gives me an invitation to Volcano Manor. We'll be needing that for later. Our next order was to get into Rhea Lucario Community College. So we grabbed the key that was guarded by the Glintstone Dragon. Now normally I yoink the key and run like a pussybag bitch. But I'm a hell diver now so that would be deserting. We get into the academy and on the way to the first boss, we take a little detour to grab the carrion knight armor. Not really a hell diver look, but it'll do for now. When I got into the red wolf fight, I finally realized the biggest weakness of the stratagems. Like for part 2. Now nah, I'm kidding, but it's indoor boss fights. You're probably telling yourself, well yeah, obviously bro. But it never struck me until now. Why? Cause I'm dumb. So to keep the run as accurate as possible, I chose to drop out of the academy and head to the Radon festival instead. So I grab the other half of the medallion to start the elevator. We get to the Altus Plateau and meet up with Rhea again. She teleports us to Volcano Matter and this is where we get our Helldiver armor. I found this ulcerated tree spirit coming out of hibernation so I annihilated him. After that I take out Anastasia with orbital lasers and do a little grave robin. After climbing 37 ladders, we finally make it to the merchant we've been searching for. And here we get the Confessor armor, which is, in my opinion, the most Helldiver looking armor in the game. Now we just need a good helmet. Before leaving Mount Gelmir, I went to the top to kill the Falling Star Beast. There's really no reason to kill him, I just wanted to spread my seed of democracy on my enemies. On the way to the festival, I woke up a sleeping dragon. He immediately wanted to throw hands and we are not one to stray from a fight. I found a merchant on the side of the road that sold a grey helm, and it surprisingly matched the fit. To beat Radon, I needed to devise an intricate Radon vs Hydrogen Bomb. Up next was to go to Lane Dell and kill the Tree Sentinel. The stratagems have been carrying us through these fights, but all the explosions and effects had my PC screaming for air. I ran through the city and got to Hologram Godfrey, and sadly this was our first unavoidable indoor fight, so we had to take him out the old fashioned way. Yeah he actually never hit me even once. It was round 2 against Morgoth and you'd think he'd learn from the last ass whooping, well apparently I didn't learn either because I nuked myself. With the Omen King dead, we can now head up to the mountaintops. But first I wanted to get into the consecrated snowfields for our last piece of armor. So I went to Castle Soul at the very top of the map to get the last medallion. I had to fight Commander Nile and his two goons. The knight with the two swords was the bane of my existence. I'm convinced he could have been Elden Lord if he wanted to. But I eventually won by focusing on Nile until the knights despawned and then I would give him diabolical back shots with the rail cannon. Now we can go back to the elevator and take it to the snowfields. From there we make sure it's nighttime, and then we look for a caravan carrying a wagon. We're not here for the wagon though, but for the two cavalry knights guarding it. They was on their horses so I had to use landmines and tracking lasers. They drop the knights cavalry armor, but we only need the helmet. And after altering the helmet, our Helldiver's armor set was complete. 
I made my way back to the mountaintops to fight the fire giant. Now this guy ate around 10 500 kilogram bombs, 10 orbital lasers, 5 rocket pods, and 7 rail cannons. Send this guy to Malevolent Creek and he'll have that shit cleared in 10 minutes. The next three bosses were all indoors, and I was not prepared to have a fair fight, so I went and got me a summon. I decided to use Lutel the Headless, because she was the easiest to get. I spent about an hour looking up videos of glove wart locations to max her out. Now I just needed to go on my own training arc. I picked up the Stormhawk Axe and fully upgraded it, and also went to the God Farming spot. This was the first time farming was actually fun. Once I hit around level 100, I was ready to run some fades. And first up was the Godskin duo. They really thought this shit was a 2v1. Me, Lutel, and Bernal jumped these guys like it was their gang initiation. Malekith was next, and I actually managed to use some stratagems through a hole in the roof. So he partially got to taste democracy. The last fight was Gideon, and he was surprisingly annoying. His constant magic spamming got me killed a couple times. Eventually though, we got him. Shout out to Lutel. Godfrey was light work, and I beat him on my first try. I beat him on my second try. Now it was just Radagon and the Elden Beast left. Our major order was finally complete, and we beat Elden Ring as a Helldiver. My first order as Elden Lord, make it mandatory for you to link your PSN account. That's the end of the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, bye.